Here we are going to talk about the basic electrophysiology of cardiomyocytes and cardiac conduction system cells. Before starting anything else, I would like to talk with you about VGCC. What is this VGCC? VGCC means voltage gated calcium channels. There are several type of types of voltage gated calcium channels among cardiac cells but for us there are mainly two types of VGCC that is important for today's lesson so first L type we call long lasting type you can find them in pacemaker cells ventricular myocytes those L type calcium channels release a large amount of calcium ions when it is activated remember L type you can find them in pacemaker cells and ventricular myocytes then T type why T because transient can find in pacemaker cells remember that L type you can find in ventricular myocytes also but T type you cannot find in ventricular myocyte. T type also called a transient type is the main calcium channel that is necessary for the automatism of cardiac cells. You know the pacemaker cells they don't need any impulses coming outside to stimulate. They are automatic. They generate the impulse then they will flow down through the cardiac conduction system. There are several other types of voltage gated calcium channels just like P type, N type, R type but we don't need them all. P type means Purkinje type you can find them in Purkinje fibers N type is neural and R type is residual type mainly remember L type you can find them pacemaker cells, ventricular myocytes they mainly affect for the large amount of calcium influx and T type, transient type you can find them in pacemaker cells.